This is a Crosley Model 14 AG radio receiver. It was manufactured in America sometime around the year 1940 or 1941. It's known as an All-American 5, as there are five vacuum tubes. As an interesting piece of trivia, the filaments for all the tubes are connected in series. The summation of those voltages is equal to 121 volts. Some of the tubes are metal, such as this. 12, that's the voltage, so it's a 12 SQ7 type tube. Some of them are glass. Here's one, 50L6. 50 is the voltage for the filament. These are octal tubes, eight pins. You may be able to make out the indexing pin there in the center. And the way it works is you set the tube on its socket and you rotate it until the indexing pin falls into position. And then you push the tube into its home position. Here's the tuning capacitor. As I turn the tuning dial, I reduce the capacitance as there's less surface area covered between the plates. This particular radio has been restored. We can tell as there are modern capacitors, including these two electrolytics and these smaller signal capacitors in place. This set has a unique speaker with multiple coils. The first you'll be familiar with, and that is the voice coil, which moves the diaphragm. The second is a coil in the frame of the speaker that is used instead of a permanent magnet. It's interesting that it performs double duty in that it provides the magnetic field for the speaker that the voice coil can move against. It also acts as an inductor, as all of the energy or current for the tubes flows through that coil. I hope you found this video interesting. I look forward to reading your comments.